So typically patients who have MS will have these lesions in their brain that are bright um, on flare and T2 imaging. And we need to go and we can and compare all these little lesions. And a patient might have one or two lesions or maybe they may have 20 or 30. And it can be very challenging to go back and say, are there any new ones? Are there any lesions that have enlarged? Physicians should, should order MRIs for their MS patients for a, a variety of reasons. One of which is if the patient's having any new symptoms or any symptoms that are concerning for a progression of disease. That would be especially important if the patient were on therapy uh, for MS. MRI is one of the tools that a clinician will use to kind of put together the clinical picture of how the patient is doing. S certainly there are cases where MRI makes a you know, a immediate change in the treatment. There are other cases where we're the first ones who are suggesting the possible diagnosis of MS. 3T technology um, allows us the extra signal to do very high resolution imaging, imaging that has, that, uh, has requirements for signal that exceed what you can easily get out of a 1.5 uh, Tesla machine. One of the interesting ways that you can use Signal is to do higher resolution 3D imaging, or you can use it to make yourself go faster. I will often customize what I do for that patient depending on how they're doing. If I had a family member or a relative or somebody who I was advising, I would absolutely encourage them to use IcoBrain or a volumetric technique for every one of their scans. What we often miss in following MS patients is subtle changes that take place over the course of many years. So a lesion may start out this big and then it's just very slightly bigger and it's very slightly bigger and it's very slightly bigger and it's very difficult to go back and compare over time, whereas this is what IcoBrain does very well. We get all of the data and all of the diagnostic ability that we get in a regular 3D brain for MS. Plus, we get the automated analysis, volumetric imaging, registration, and comparison uh, with IcoBrain. I think if you're not ordering IcoBrain for your MS patients, you may be leaving important information on the table. You're not only getting quantitative data, which was previously completely unavailable, but I think you're gonna get a better diagnosis from the radiologist.